certainly looks healthy to me. Fran Green is a local musician known to many people around the county. We popped in to Fusion Cafe to speak to him as he opens his first exhibition and launches his new EP. So Fran, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm, I moved down to Wexford about 16 years ago and um, I got a job uh, on a couple of building sites and stuff and just briefly that just packed in and I started returning to me, my own art and music and um, I started getting on into the local uh, singer-songwriter nights and stuff like that and I just started to um, craft my own musical style and stuff and I'm currently doing a bachelor's degree in uh, Carlo IT in art and uh, the pictures that are surrounding us here today are just a combination of about two years work I've, I've edited out my pieces and thought, found suitable pieces for it and um, I've actually tied the music along with the pictures as well like, um, and that's why I wanted to, to create this event tonight and um, there's certain lines in the songs that might correspond with the paintings and stuff so I was uh, trying to get two mediums, two art forms together to fuse them together and let each um, inspire the, the next show. So there's a huge musical influence in your paintings then? There would be, yeah, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your upcoming EP. Um, the EP, yeah, well, I've hopefully get a, the third album. I have uh, two albums at the minute, which are available on um, SoundCloud or uh, Bandcamp. And uh, this next album, um, we'll hopefully get it out by uh, maybe the autumn, uh, realistically. <laughs> And uh, these, this DP are four songs uh, from the album. Uh, the idea is I'm going to do about six heavier songs and then six folkier songs um, to combine them. And uh, so hopefully, this well, is the what's to come. Well, so it's, it's, it's amazing that you, you're in college now at the moment studying art, is that right? So this yeah. is how the paintings came about. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that and how um, the, the paintings have come about and tell us a little bit about the paintings. Yeah, um, I suppose if I take, for instance, the large one, uh, it's called Becoming a Lair. And uh, it came about, uh, we got a brief uh, where we had to uh, use a figure of form. We had to use um, sort of the human form as motives for the paintings. But it was a, a picture I took up in uh, Johnstown Castle of myself uh, reflected in the um, lake. And I, I solarized the lens and I took a negative shot. I used some effects on it. And I thought nothing of the picture until I got home and I was just flicking through and I said, there's something about that. There was a reaction to color within it and something nice happened. So I actually used the, my own photograph to, uh, to influence the painting. I painted that through that. That's how it came about. And uh, there's a bit of a political edge to it. It's about like uh, currently the, the water uh, fixation and, and stuff. That, uh, it's to do with actually being water ourselves and being reflected on water and becoming a layer in the, you know, the, the, it's we're literally just a, a layer in the picture. My image is just a layer there, you know. Yeah, that's so, it's, it's amazing. So I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like going, wow, what, what is this? This is cool. And tell us about the the exhibition. It's it's opening tonight, it's opening and tonight. this Infusion Cafe. And and how long is it going to go on for? Um, it's going to go on for two weeks. Great. Two weeks. Yeah. And so, if people want to hear your music, because um, a lot of people might not know you that are watching, but locally you're really well known here. So, tell us a little bit about the music, where they can get it, and if they want to get their hands on it. Um, well, as I say, the first two albums are, are available on Bandcamp, and uh, they can get in touch with me through Facebook, and I can get albums to them. I can post different stuff like that. The EP is, will be available there as well. What a unique fusion of art and music there from Fran Green. That's it for this week, folks. Join us next week on Wexford County Matters, where we visit the memorial dedicated to the crew of the Fort Lifeboat and their heroic rescue 101 years ago. We chat to Paddy Brennan about his fundraiser coming up for motor neuron disease. All this and more, but in the meantime, back to Fran. <laughs> Go. She 
looked so fine, I wish that he could rhyme through the course and the empty road. Through the course and the empty road. Oh, Gypsy Way, Gypsy Way, Gypsy Way. I share your bed, I share your wine, I share your waking dreams. All my love I'll give to you if you give yours to me. Give yours to me. She brought me to a distant shore, far so far away. And I felt the waves rolling over my head, don't think I'm coming home. Gypsy way, gypsy way.